Hello, in this Wago tutorial, we will show you which Wago hardware can be used to establish communication in the telecontrol protocols IEC 60870, EC 61850 and the MP3, which licenses are required and which software is needed. Telecontrol is used whenever a network operator communicates with an energy system, such as wind farms, solar farms, CHPs, but also local grid stations connected to the distribution grid, for example. The communication protocols are described in the IEC 6870, IEC 61850 and the MP3 standards. Depending on the standard, the grid operator's control center is called the master or client and the substation is called the slave or server. In general, there are two communication directions. Firstly, the information direction in which measured values, individual messages such as a door contact or system performance are reported from the substation to the control center. And then the command direction in which the control center sends single commands, set points and a general inquiry to the substation. Wago solutions can also be used for further applications. For example, when an existing system is extended with an additional system and messages and commands need to be routed. In this case, the controller is still a slave or server to the grid control center, but a master or client to the extended system acting as a gateway. This gateway application also works across the three communication protocols, so communication to the new system can be via IEC 61850 and the controller as gateway translates messages and commands into the IEC 6870 standard to communicate with the network operator. Wago offers the PFC200 with the special numbers 001 and 002 for telecontrol applications. These controllers already have all the licenses for all three protocols. In principle, however, any PFC200 from the second generation onwards is telecontrol capable, but this requires the purchase of an additional license. These are offered individually for the required protocol and are divided into master and slave or client and server. The client and master licenses are further divided into M and L. The M license is intended for use on the PFC. It contains fewer data points than the L license and can therefore be offered at a lower price. The L license is for the edge controller, which has more processing power and can handle more data points. One of the onboard interfaces can be used as an interface for Ethernet-based protocols. For the serial interface, for example, for the IEC 60870-101 protocol, it must be considered whether Modbus RTU is also used, in which case it may be necessary to use an additional terminal for another serial interface, depending on the controller. This is also necessary if the protection devices are not connected via RS-232 or RS-485, but via RS-422, that is 4-wire technology. In general, only the 750-652 serial terminal is supported for telecontrol. Configuration and programming is done in CodeSys 3.5 and here we also need the telecontrol add-on, which is available from the Wago Download Center. A link to the Download Center can be found in the video description. Once the add-on is installed, we can start CodeSys and create a new standard project. Now we can right-click on Device, then Add New Device and in the field buses under Telecontrol, we can add the Telecontrol Configurator. Double click to open the telecontrol configurator and we can make the first general settings in the startup window. As well as assigning project names and comments, you can also select how the time is to be synchronized. If the time is to be retrieved from an NTP server, the IP address, polling interval and timeout time can be entered directly. However, if the network operator specifies that the time is to be sent, for example in the 6870 protocol via object 103 or in the DMP3 protocol via uh, the FC24 telegram, we can select this with the option primary protocol specific. The other two options, system time only, no synchronization and primary NTP secondary protocol specific are further options that are sometimes required. 
In the project area, we can reset the whole project with Reset, export the project or import an existing project. Use Check to check for errors. The sort function is only available for the DNP3 protocol. Under Options, we can select various display options. Under Info, the version status and version changes are listed and under Licenses, any licenses still required are displayed. This prepares the controller for telecontrol and we can now create the data points that we will describe for each protocol in the next telecontrol videos.